The Chemical Society was formed in 1841, then named the Chemical Society of London by 77 scientists as a result of increased interest in scientific matters. Chemist Robert Warrington was the driving force behind its creation. Topic: History One of the aims of the Chemical Society was to hold meetings for the communication and discussion of discoveries and observations, an account of which shall be published by the Society. In 1847, its importance was recognized by a royal charter, which added to its role in the advancement of science, the development of chemical applications in industry. Its members included eminent chemists from overseas including August Wilhelm von Hoffmann, who became its president in 1861. Membership was open to all those interested in chemistry, but fellowship was for long restricted to men. In 1904, Edith Humphrey, thought to be the first British woman to gain a doctorate in chemistry at the University of Zurich, was one of 19 women chemists to petition the Chemical Society for admission of women to fellowship. This was eventually granted in 1919, and Humphrey was subsequently elected to fellowship. The Chemical Society of London succeeded where a number of previous chemical associations, the Lunar Society's London Branch Chemical Society of the 1780s, the Animal Chemical Club of 1805, the London Chemical Society of 1824 failed. One assertion of a cause of success of the Chemical Society of London is that it was, unlike its forerunners, a fruitful amalgamation of the technological and academic chemist. Its activities expanded over the years, including eventually becoming a major publisher in the field of chemistry. On 15 May 1980, it amalgamated with the Royal Institute of Chemistry, the Faraday Society and the Society for Analytical Chemistry to become the Royal Society of Chemistry. Presidents Topic Original Members On the twenty third of February, eighteen forty one, a meeting was convened to take into consideration the formation of a chemical society. The provisional committee appointed for carrying that object into effect invited a number of gentlemen engaged in the practice and pursuit of chemistry to become original members. The following 77 communicated their written assent. See also Journal of the Chemical Society Proceedings of the Chemical Society Chemical Society Reviews <laughs>